Hello Disney Infinity Trainers! Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build a Toy Box series on Disney Infinity 3.0. Today we are playing as Yoda. Yoda is going to help us. And this little tourist guy got out. Um, he's spoiling what I'm about to show you. So I have a couple plans for today's episode. Uh, namely to show you what's happened to Main Street since we last spoke. Basically, I quote-unquote populated it like I said I would, and I added, you know, a bunch of different cast members and characters to add some life to this toy box. So here we have Jar Jar, who will run around from time to time. Let's get him out of here. We have Rex. Rex is enjoying our main street very much. Slinky selling some hot dogs, and then we have the alien Slinky here. <laughs> Don't you see the resemblance? All right, and additionally, we still have the up house flying in the background. I love that. Something else that I love here is this churro cart, which is available under the the same menu as the main street houses in the set pieces. Sorry, the building sets. It's the churro cart. And it may seem just like an unassuming, regular little decoration that sells churros, right? Well, there's a little bit more to it than that. If you have townspeople, I'm guessing only the aliens, or, or maybe it's just any townspeople, they will actually buy churros and eat them. I thought that was pretty awesome and hilarious, because I love churros, and apparently these guys do too. Look at that. This guy over here, he has a little churro as well. And then we have, uh, I think his name was Don, I don't remember, from the Monsters University movie. Uh, if you go within range, he has a um, dynamic trigger attached to, attached to him as well as a text creator. So when you go near him, he asks if you want a snack. Also, we have a little eating area over here, a little dining area next to this uh, Gusto's building. Ham is hanging out here because Ham actually likes to eat, believe it or not. I've also closed off some of these areas with the gates so that we don't have the villagers wandering around beyond there. So that's pretty cool. And I've also put the collector, he loves kind of learning about new worlds and exploring new worlds and finding new objects. So he, he's observing the marvels of this main street village. I also put a gate here so that our villagers don't wander into the farm. So let's go ahead and take a look at the farm just very briefly. There's nothing, I mean, there, there are a couple new things here, um, but basically... I put the super grow plots which take up just as much space as the regular plots, however on the meter they take up less than those regular grow pro plots. And with, they only grow one plant, however when you harvest it, you can see that it yields multiple. So it's very, very useful for, for saving room while also harvesting multiple crops at once. So these super grow plots are excellent. One of the ways you can unlock them is by unlocking the watering can in the maze on the Toy Box Hub. And once you have that, you go to the Toy Box Hub farm and you water some of your plants. Um, maybe I'll do a tutorial of that, but I don't have too much time to get into that beyond this. Otherwise, the farm is just the same as it's always been. So let's go back to our main street. And to what we're going to be doing today, we are actually going to be adding to this area, but we're going to be adding a new kind of quote-unquote world. So uh, the main street will be kind of like an additional area here. Um, and what I thought would be cool here, we have this little park. I thought it would be cool if this was kind of like an, a meeting point, like a central point of all of the d potential different worlds that we could have in our toy box, um, in, at least in this one level. So. Um, I was going to add one right here, and so basically we'll add another one going this way and another one going this way, and so it'll be like a plus sign of, you know, worlds, and this little park will be the meeting ground for travelers of those worlds. So let's go ahead and, and start. And also I have something special that I acquired to help me with this building process. You might actually be able to tell if you look under Yoda's icon, well if you can see it, um, this is actually the Tomorrowland Power Disc Pack. So, no, we're not gonna switch the theme. However, we are going to basically be adding Tomorrowland to our toy box. So we don't need, this music is pretty dramatic as well. We don't need uh, the Tomorrowland Sky right now, but we'll, we'll keep it just because it's new and it's different and it gives a new kind of lighting to 
our toy box. But what I first want to do then, and by unlocking that power disc, you actually unlock buildings that correspond to it, which I thought was pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and start here with some terrain. And we're going to add a big chunk of terrain right here. And that's going to be kind of the, the beyond point, I guess, from the, the park. I'm going to try to make it as nice looking as possible. We're going to theme it to the Tomorrowland uh, world. And I'm also going, I set the theme, so anything we place beyond that will be Tomorrowland themed. And I also want to put some of these blended pieces, but since these are really tedious, I'm just going to do that off camera because that'll take like a minute or two of just things that I could be, or, or pieces that I could be placing that actually have more functionality rather than, um, you, you know, doing that tediously. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do here is set some of these there were some of these that i particularly liked that had a nice tomorrowland theme i think this was one of them and we're going to set the theme for that as well yes this was one of them so this will be kind of like a i guess an entry point maybe maybe we can put that like right here there's actually something that i want to put right in the middle here too so we're going to kind of try to leave that available as well so uh, let's see. I guess we can put this like this. For now, this is all, you know, subject subject to change. Let's see if this is the one I was looking at. Hopefully that music's not too overpowering too. I'm going to go ahead and lower that in a second. It's not over here. Oh, the bench. Uh, let's see. Well, I do want to add a couple more benches to our park area, but that'll be maybe more after. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and do that now. Um, let's see. In the middle. Yeah, I could go in the middle like that. That, that doesn't look too bad. Or maybe maybe closer to the, to the fountain or something. Again, I might move these around, but I like the way they look at the very least. So I don't know if that's, that music's too overpowering. I'm going to go ahead and lower it anyway. Oh, it's really low anyway. You probably can't even hear it, and I'm just talking talking to myself. We'll lower some of the effects. Uh, you can probably hear me well and well enough anyway. All right, so there was a piece that I definitely wanted to show. I don't think it was the strip. Uh, it's going to be hard to find, but it was park-themed. So here we go, just placing all of this. That's the Tomorrowland. That is the landscape lamp nope we don't need that at least for now we don't that one's cool the statue we already have one we don't need multiple that spire is kind of cool Ooh, I like that a lot that's really nice the tree that's one that's gonna be pretty helpful yeah we're gonna definitely want to kind of plant a lot more trees around our park area however Again, we're going to be um, probably doing that more off camera. Um, I just want to get to the kind of foundation of our of our Tomorrowland right now. Which one was it? Was it one of these? It might have been one of these. I'm just going to try them all because it's hard to keep track of. There's so many different things here. Uh, this one is a corner piece, which is actually pretty pretty useful. So we're going to try to use that for now. However, that's not the piece I was looking for. We're still going to use it, though, because it looks pretty nice. And it'll be a nice kind of corner. Who's over here? I thought I saw a little character walking. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just seeing things awkwardly. Okay. Yes, sure. Okay. Per Here's a little confession here. I have not seen the Tomorrowland movie, so <laughs> I don't really know uh, anything about it but it looks really cool. I, I want to see it. I plan to see it. Um, that wasn't the one either. I plan to see it. And the th But the theme just looks great. Okay, here it is, finally. It's, of course, it's the last one I see. It's the park edging. And so this is going to be kind of like a little kind of entryway to our park. And of course, those are in the way, so we're going to have to move these a little bit for now.
and let me know how you're enjoying the way the the toy box is coming along and I'm definitely open to suggestions I know someone suggested that I should um, put the park kind of move move this entrance out to the park area and have the park be kind of like a uh, intro area to the main street and I like that idea a lot however since I had plans to um, to make the park kind of like the central point for different kind of worlds and, and stuff. I, I think I'm just going to keep it how it is for now and, and see how that ends up being. All right, so so you can see if once we come out of the Tomorrowland area, we can basically walk through here and that takes us to our park area and vice versa. So now we can move these back here. Maybe, maybe move a couple more of these, I think. Okay, well, we're going to have to set the theme there. I'm wondering why it looks pink on the ribbon, however when you change the theme um, right here out in the toy box it's not pink at all. I don't know if that thing changes colors or if that's like a little mistake, but either way. There we go. So that creates kind of like a little fenced area, which is still pretty cool. And then we can put a couple trees here just to kind of um, disguise it maybe. Let's go ahead and see if that'll look any better. <laughs> Trying to make this look as nice as possible, which is not easy to do. Maybe a tree like in the middle there. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but wow, that thing's blinking out like crazy. But I'm pretty big on symmetry when I'm building toy boxes for the most part. And so um, I definitely like for things to be symmetrical, as you can tell. Uh, but that looks okay so far. I definitely want to get to the tr actual Tomorrowland building uh, today. I don't know if that's going to happen though because we are nearing the 12 minute mark or we're actually probably at the 12 minute mark. Um, so let's go ahead and get right to it then. So where was it? I think it was set piece or building pieces number five. Sorry, I, I seriously need to memorize the order for all this, but there's just so much in the toy box that it's really hard to keep track of. <laughs> There's the up house making an appearance. All right, cool, there it is. So we want this little bridge because it looks futuristic and that's going to complement our Tomorrowland theme here. And I also like this piece. It's kind of like random and out of nowhere, but um, <laughs> I, I thought it added something to it as well. So basically you're gonna come, let, let's get around a little faster here. You're going to come through here, and this is basically going to lead you to Tomorrowland. And I still don't quite know how I'm going to set it all up. Um, I don't want to do too much off screen, but like I said, I do want to do all, all the kind of tedious stuff off screen. Maybe I'll start with like a level right here. I like the flat blocks better. Maybe I'll start with like a level right here, and then there will be a way to kind of get to a lower level as well. We'll try that. We'll, we'll go ahead and try that out. So this will be kind of like the lower level. And we're definitely going to be putting buildings and things. Um, that's our goal. So the next episode will probably be a lot of that. A lot of kind of adding buildings and decorating. So what I'm going to do in between these episodes is kind of uh, fix and make things look nicer within the park area and the Tomorrowland entrance area. And then in the following episode we will we will start actually building the foundation for the actual Tomorrowland area. So hopefully we'll be able to fit all this. The meter doesn't look like it's too overfilled right now. It's about halfway on, on most of the points. And so I, th I think we can afford to have one more going this way and one more going that way. Uh, let's hope, right? Because that'll be pretty cool. And I just noticed right now my toy box is basically a, a straight, long, huge, like if you look at it like this, uh, it's just a long kind of piece, so we definitely need more going out rather than uh, lengthwise. Anyways, uh, yeah, so let's go over here. So I'll, I'll be maybe decorating this a little better as well as the park, and when we start the next episode, we'll go ahead and continue and build on our Tomorrowland world. So hopefully you are enjoying. Maybe I'll put some walls or something up there and, and wall it off from this area. I do want to make it so that it's not just a bunch of squares, but I hope you're enjoying the series. Definitely offer suggestions if you have any, but 
Um, please enjoy, please like, please subscribe, please follow us on Twitter, and thank you very much for watching.